Today we'll be talking about family recovery, prevention and treatment approaches for diverse LGBT families. If a young person is exploring their sexual orientation or gender identity, starting to think about whether they may be LGBT or Q or starting to question, parents are really the first and most important ally um, in these young people's lives. I know in some communities now we're starting to see uh, family support for, for children who are gender questioning as young as three and four years old. Exactly. And wow. it's incredibly supportive for those parents as well as the children to have those resources. It's pretty obvious that if you're part of a population that people don't understand and that tend to treat you wrong and so you hide behind yourself, um, that there's a lot of work that has to be done so that providers understand this. It's hard for providers and others to understand them if people won't tell them about themselves. It's really important for LGBT youth to have access to mentors and role models within the community itself. So to be familiar with not only our history and our, and our culture, but also our community and, and how many different role models they might find within the community. So when a parent attempts to deny access to information and or role models, that can really have a great hindrance for the, for the adolescent. I've been reminded of the old marches, not parades, which they've become, <laughs> but the pride marches, uh, where we used to march and say, we're here, we're queer, get used to it. Um, but we are, we're here, we're queer, get used to it, and start meeting our needs.